Hi! In our lesson on the arrangement of electrons in an atom, we explained that the atoms of some elements like helium and neon seem to be stable because their outermost electron shells contain 2 and 8 electrons respectively. In other words, they have stable electrons configurations. Elements with these kinds of atoms are referred to as noble gases. In this lesson, we will consider how the atoms of other elements can also attain stability like the noble gases. Since stability is associated with two or eight electrons in the outermost shell of an atom, there is a tendency of atoms of other elements to ensure that they also have two or eight electrons in their outermost shells. And they achieve this through the formation of chemical bonds with the atoms of other elements. There are two main types of chemical bonds. They are electrovalent and covalent bonds. Electrovalent bond is also sometimes referred to as ionic bond. It is a type of bond formed when an electron is transferred from one atom to another atom. It is referred to as an ionic bond because ions are formed during the formation of the bond. Remember that in our lesson on ions in JS2, we explained that there are two types of ions, that is, positive ions and negative ions. We said that a positive ion is formed when an atom loses electrons, and that a negative ion is formed when an atom gains electrons. This is exactly what happens during the formation of electrovalent bonds. An atom which is referred to as the electron donor donates electrons from its outermost shell into the outermost shell of another atom called the electron acceptor. Covalent bond, on the other hand, is a type of bond formed when the same or different atoms combine to share the electrons in their outermost shell. In subsequent lessons, we will learn examples of atoms that participate in the formation of ionic and covalent bonds. In the meantime, let's summarize what we've learned so far. The atoms of noble gases have stable electrons configurations. The atoms of other elements tend to attain stability by participating in the formation of chemical bonds. Electrovalent and covalent bonds are the main types of chemical bonds. That's all for this lesson. I'll see you in the next one.